When you say the word Philly, the next word that you think about automatically, cheese stick. Mr. Andrew Brown, he gave us 25 bucks. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> Pretty iconic gold belly one, but welcome to Bruin Review. When I'm on the internet, Cheers. I'm watching Bruin Review. Ooh, wow. That's tasty, what is it? Well, this is Pipeworks Brewing Company's premium Pilsner beer. All the other beers they make are trash. This one's premium. <laughs> um, but Corey, the beer is great and everything. A Chicago, a Chicago staple in the liquid department. But why don't you tell the folks what we got going on? Yeah, today we ordered from Gold Belly. We've got Pat's King of Steaks, their uh, Philly cheese steak sandwich, straight from Philly. We're excited to try it. Never had it. Always wanted it. Uh, and Gold Belly's given us this opportunity. Yeah. Not that they're supporting us. They have no idea. <laughs> but um, yeah, as a website, we wouldn't be able to do this without them. Pat's has been around Thanks since 1930, making them cheesesteaks. So, all right, our first time having Pat's via Gold Belly. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's that red, man. Wow. The bread, that onion. It's so onion flavor. Mm. Philly uses onions in such a great way. Like, I love the Philly cheesesteak. Like way of cooking onions. It's yeah. So good. Uh, flat grill. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is very tasty. Wow. Now, I know this isn't going to be exactly like it's at, mm -hmm. <laughs> at, at the store. Right. Which I've never had it to compare it, which I have. But I can tell you this is damn good. It is. This bread traveled very well. Crispy on the outside, nice and soft and fluffy on the inside, and it's holding the whole sandwich really well. They give you like a big vat of cheese. So. Um, look at this thing. It's almost like you bought queso from Tostitos. All right. Maybe a massive one. All right, I'm doing it, man, with some citrus sauce. And then you would. Which I always do this, I get Philly cheesesteaks a lot in Chicago, but I actually add hot sauce to those as well. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, we're out here. Gotta go back to plan. Boss up. Regular here. citrus sauce. Yeah. I'm a big Philly cheesesteak and hot sauce. I don't know if that's, if people like, in the traditional sense, get pissed about that, but mm -hmm. whatever. Most people can grow up. It's just really good. Mm-hmm. Now, looking at the, uh, you guys, you know, a lot of the people on Patreon voted yeah. of what we were gonna eat. We uh, each picked a bunch of places that sounded good to us personally. We put them in a big list. Patreon people voted on it. This was one of the top ones. What a cool way to like get this episode to, to happen. Like, after so many people involved and like, I mean, the Gold Belly thing had to have done so well during the pandemic. Like, people just wanting to get something shipped to them that they missed, like, I'd imagine it did well. Mm. So this was 110 bucks for four of them. Four sandwiches. So, 25, 27.50 is what you're looking at per Sammy. Right. High up on the, the price meter. I think this is a fun once in a while thing. Obviously, if you have a tie to a place and you miss it, yeah, you like you to. live in Philly or like, and even if you've always wanted to try it, this is like a good way to kind of right. pop your Philly cheesesteak cherry before you can get over there and do it. But I'm like genuinely impressed by this. Like, I think that this was packaged very well and this tastes really good. Mm hmm. Yeah, they nailed it. Mm hmm. The bread's probably the most impressive part. I know, which is wild. What do you think of the Wiz? It's good. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I'm interested to see too. If you're a Patreon guy watching this, make sure you vote. I want to figure out what else we're going to be getting from these places. Me too. Or even if you're not a Patreon member, maybe you can comment below with something you'd want us to try. You're not going to be able to vote on it, but maybe you can throw it on the list. Mm hmm. I think that every Philly cheesesteak I've had outside of Philadelphia has never mastered the bread like this. Like, there's some great bread in Chicago for sandwiches, but this is really like standing out to me as a big, def like, defining factor of why the sandwich is like. Such a complete That's package. interesting because I'm pretty sure that Philly's Best mails their bread in from Philly. So I think they're using the same bread. Yeah, I need to have another one of those soon because this just seems so different to me then. This might actually be just a different experience than when That's you get right. it at Pat's. You might get there and be like, why is your bread so soft, bro? You guys thought about crisping it up? And they're like, That's we don't point. do that. Yeah, it's not going to be like identical to the restaurant. That's a good point. It might right. be completely different. The steak's good. Mm -hmm. I think if you're craving a Philly cheesesteak and you're in Chicago, I still think you go to Philly's Best over this. 
Right, no doubt. If you're not in Chicago, you can't guarantee you have a good Philly place. Like, if you're in Toledo, you right. order this. Yeah. I, I guarantee you there's no Toledo Philly cheesesteak like this. Yeah, you're better off getting a Philly's best here than spending 120 bucks basically to get Let me take the price out of it. If this costs the exact same as Philly's best, mm. I think you're going to Philly's best. I think Philly's best is still a better cheesesteak because it's like, I mean, we still had to throw that in the oven for a bunch of time. It's mm -hmm. not, I think it's just better. I don't think these, or at least that particular sandwich, I don't think it's ever going to be close to the same as getting it at the restaurant. No, I can't imagine it is. It's going to satiate something if you literally have no other option right. where you're at. But luckily here, we have a guy from Philly who transplanted here who orders all the bread from Philly and yeah. knows how to do it right. So we like have that, but. Yeah, we've highlighted that on the show. That's, that's so, what. like, not, that's not usual. We're lucky in that regard, mm -hmm. absolutely. But, I mean, smash it, obviously we spent the money, we're definitely gonna eat that whole thing. <laughs> so <laughs> no doubt, it's still very tasty. Um, all right, well, for those of you guys watching this video for the first time and you've never seen us before, maybe this popped up, uh, we make videos Monday through Thursday and then some bonus ones on Fridays for Patreon people and these Gold Belly ones are live to everybody, which is super fun. Um, so thanks for watching us. If you want the food review stuff to continue, subscribe to the channel. Do we score it? <laughs> maybe we just gave them all the information they need. I know. I don't we don't really... need to rate it. It doesn't feel fair to rate it because it's not like, what are we comparing it to? Getting it at the store? Yeah. It's never going to live up. Yeah, we don't have other frozen Philly cheesesteaks to compare it to. Yeah, what are we so... going to tell them whether you get it? I mean, they basically yeah. just heard everything like, yeah, I get, if you don't have anything, if you do have a I know. good Philly cheesesteak, probably wouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't think we need to go through all that. No, I th even when I was like, trying to pitch it, I was like, hey, what do you even really say? This is such a unique experience um, that we got to have because of the Gold Belly thing, so that's cool. I don't know, that was a super fun experience. I'm glad that we did that. I thought it was super tasty. Yeah, it was delicious. I love having iconic foods from other cities, and I can't get to Philly right now. So yeah, that's, that's my favorite part, is being able to have tried Pat's. Even yeah. It's not the same. I don't really consider it, but it's close. It, yeah, it was, that was still a fun experience, so. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video today. Uh, we'll see you Monday for a brand new video. As we do, uh, we have the website for merch and stuff like that here at Number Six for Cheese. So, uh, guys, thanks for rocking with us. Pipeworks, thanks for having us wash down that Philly cheese steak with a Pilsner. And sure, I'll have a drink. Mm -hmm.